Good morning. You may recall that after Sukkot, we put out a three-minute halacha in regards to what to do with the leftover dalad minim and the leftover schach. And we mentioned that there is a difference between a tashmishe kedusha, something which inherently has sanctity, such as tefillin or mezuzah or the like, and a tashmishe mitzvah, something which is an item used to fulfill a mitzvah, like the dalad minim and, uh, and sukkah. Those which are used only for a mitzvah after the time of the mitzvah is complete no longer retain inherent kedusha. And therefore, they should be disposed in a nice manner, but they can technically speaking be even put into the garbage. As opposed to Hanukkah. Because one might think that Hanukkah oil has the same status of only a tashmishe mitzvah and therefore does not have inherent kedusha. That would seem to be the logical extension. However, the Medrash in, par- in Parshas Naso, the Medrash Tanchuma, writes that one who has left over can- uh, uh, oil from the eighth day of Hanukkah must burn it because it was designated for a mitzvah and becomes prohibited for any other use. And even though the Gemara seems to indicate otherwise, the way that Shulchan Aruch rules is in fact that one must burn and, and, and get rid of the leftover oil and wicks because they do maintain Kedusha and one cannot just simply dispose of it in any manner. Question is why? So we say for Karen Aura points out based off of the Shultos of Rebbe Chaigon that the Hanukkah oil somehow becomes more holy. Haneros Halalu Kodesh and we treat it almost like a korban that has more status, more inherent sanctity. So what then do we do with the oil? And how much oil does this affect? So again, ideally one should dispose of it by burning it. It's true that other posts can say if one cannot burn the remaining oil or wicks, then one can go ahead and dispose of it in an appropriate manner by wrapping it in a bag or something before where it's treated with the proper sanctity. That's the opinion of Schechter and many other poskim. However, how much of the oil does this affect? Some say it's only the minimum amount of oil absolutely necessary to fulfill the mitzvah of the initial half hour. Others say it's any amount that was put into the menorah. Therefore, the Mishnah Brewer and the Magen Avram recommend that before one lights these candles, one should make a stipulation that only the amount used for the burning itself should become holy for the minimum amount. But anything that's left over beyond that initial half hour should not retain the Kedush. If one makes that stipulation ahead of time, the Mishnah Brewer and others agree that that would suffice and it would not maintain the Kedusha and would be able to be treated as whole as something which does not have Kedusha and disposed accordingly. What's important to note also is that oil, which was never put into the menorah, the leftover in the jar or the leftover mini ones, then that doesn't have any kedusha. Then one can dispose of that or use of that in whatever manner they want. But in regards to that which was put in the Chanukiah, again, ideally should be burned or dis- certainly minimally disposed appropriately. And ideally, one should also be careful to make a stipulation that anything beyond the initial half hour should not become kadosh, should not become holy. Have a wonderful Shabbos.